To use sample loading cups with the Protean I-12, follow this setup procedure. First, place the rehydrated IPG strip gel side up in the focusing tray. At this point, you can add electrode wicks if you choose. Pre-wet the wicks and place them at the ends of the tray on top of the IPG strip. Next, insert the electrode assemblies into the tray. Match the positive electrode assembly to the positive side of the tray and the negative assembly to the negative side of the tray. They will only fit in one orientation because they have round and square pegs specific to each side of the tray and each electrode assembly. Press the electrode assemblies straight down into the tray by pressing on the green tabs until you hear a click. Place the tray on the platform of the instrument and insert the positive electrodes into the appropriate slots. Please note that the trays should be placed into the instrument according to the guides on the sides. The electrodes should be pressed into the instrument until a click is heard. Press the tray into the instrument until the stop on the tray is reached. Check to make sure that the pin on the negative electrode assembly has made contact with the metal strip on the instrument. Assemble the sample loading cup holder to hold as many cups as you would like to use for loading. The cups fit into the sample cup holder via arms on the sides of the cups that fit into holes on the holder. The holder is designed to hold the cups with a certain amount of give to allow a tight seal with the gel so that the sample doesn't leak and to ensure that the connection is not so tight as to damage the strip. Choose the desired location for the sample cup assembly. Snap the assembly onto the tray until a click is heard. Once the assembly is in place, do not slide it along the tray, as it will damage the IPG strip. If you would like to reposition it, unclip the assembly, pick it up, and reposition it on the strip. Add the sample to the sample cup. Overlay the strips and the sample within the cups with mineral oil. Close the lid, and you are now ready to program the cell. After the run is finished, the tray can be removed by sliding it away from the electrodes and lifting it out of the instrument. Remove the cup holder, and then the electrodes can be removed from the tray by pinching the green tabs and lifting up.